Hello, my name is Jean-Robert Lafortune, a native of Haiti. Land of mystery, legend, magics, and a little bit fascinating. I'm inviting you to enter with me into that short journey, reinterpreting the Haitian Revolution. As we know in modern times, the world, or the West, has experienced four revolutions. The French Revolution in 1789, the American Revolution in 1776, the Bolshevik Revolution in 1917, and the Haitian Revolution in 1804. Among those four, those four revolutions that basically shaked the West, the only one that uh, proclaimed the universality of freedom and equality is the Haitian Revolution. Its impact on the West has been severe and also helped to reconfigure the political geography of two continents. To the north, in America, the Haitian Revolution contributed to the sale, to the sale of Louisiana. Napoleon Bonaparte, the French Empire, became so, uh, so economically challenged in order to feed its empire. He had to raise funds overnight so he can continue with his belligerent policy in conquesting the rest of, of Europe. In order to raise funds, he was forced, he was compelled to sell Louisiana, the greater Louisiana, to America, Thomas Jefferson, at 15 cents an acre. That action transformed America into a continental power, doubling its size, doubling its wealth as well. To its south, the Haitian Revolution contributed to Simon Bolivar. Simon Bolivar, who is a freedom fighter for, the, for Latin America, for a South America, visited the Haitian President Pétion on several occasions, four times at the minimum. It is the assistance of President Pétion to Simon Bolivar that helped propel a, a Bolivar to a, to a continental leader where he was able to free most of Latin America. But in his dialogue with President Pétion, uh, President Pétion asked Bolivar the only commitment that he wants Bolivar to keep was to free all the slaves that he met on his journey to, to free the continent of the Spaniard grips. Scholars uh, differ between themselves whether or not that Simon Bolivar was able to keep his promise. But what we know is uh, many uh, action of Simon Bolivar were, were consistent with the philosophy of President Pétion. And uh, Pétion is known throughout the Americas as the man that provided the guidance, the resources, and uh, all the inspiration that feed Simon Bolivar further to free his continent. So in these circumstances, we can see that in the West, it is history as, as being kept under the rug, kept under silence, so that this story is not shared. But I sincerely believe it is story belong to Omer Ziliad, if Omer was alive today. This is Jean-Robert Lafortune with TED Talk. Good night.